Right then, I hope everybody. Back with another Villa Games video. Both Catalonia starts tomorrow, and I realised that you know people might need some judgment, some guidance going into this because uh, rather unlike some of the recent Villa Games like Perinis and Terena, there is no Roglic or Pogacar, which means that making a good selection is a bit harder because there's not that automatic person to choose. So I'm going to try and uh, guide you through this. Hopefully you find this useful. Hopefully you get more points. And hopefully you move yourselves up the mini league. Um, I think I've, I've, been, I've been doing okay at the moment. Um, nothing spectacular but just steadily going away. Anyway. Let's get into this. So of course the top riders are Jawa Mader and Richard Carapaz. I think you want to be choosing one of these guys. It's difficult to say which one. Almeida... Uh, has the benefit of a better time trial, which means that on stage two, he'll more than likely be finishing, I'd say, in the top three, if not top five, which means that he'll be getting you about 100 points. Versus Carapaz, you probably won't be. Uh, but then the benefit of Carapaz is that on stages three and four, going up over 2,000 metres, Carapaz could easily win both of those stages, alongside you know a couple of other people here, who I'll get to in a minute. Um, Almeida also seems to have a faster finish than Carapaz, which means that on the likes of a stage 7, or maybe to some of the sprint stages, he finishes higher up than Carapaz does, because he'll be eager to try and get bonus seconds or something. Um, so you can kind of choose either one. Almeida, of course, this is his third stage race in a row versus Carapaz, who's coming in really fresh, so Carapaz might do better just because he's got less race days. I think Almeida might be starting to fatigue, especially when you saw in Torino, Almeida on the stage four uphill, which Pogacar won. I think he finished in sixth place behind Carapaz, but he was a good 30 seconds down on Pogacar and Simon Yates. So, you know, I reckon, although he might gain a minute in the time trial, he might lose that quite easily on the uphills. So choose either one of them or both of them. Um, difficult to say. Um, I reckon you could pick both of them. I haven't created a team with that scenario, but by all means go with it. Kelderman I wouldn't pick. Adam Yates I would do, just because how he looked at UAE. He was pretty much the only guy who could go with Pogacar. Time trial's not too bad. He's also really good over one week. I think Adam Yates is a absolute guarantee. Put in your team, no questions asked. Enric Mass um, I wouldn't pick. Quintana I'd be picking over Mass. Better Climber. In terms of GC, I'd see Quintana finishing 6th, 5th. G, I won't pick. I think he's on super domestic duty. That's a lot to put for a 16-pointer. Rather, I'd be putting Simon Yates. After all, he was very close to catching Pogacar in Terreno Adriatico. I think that the podium could quite easily be Carapaz and the two Yateses. Or Carapaz, Adam Yates and Hugh Carthy. I, I don't really know. Um, speaking of which, Hugh Carthy, bit of a tricky one. Um, I kind of keep taking him on. I, I keep putting him on, taking him off. Good time trial, looked good at the world to last year. Um, I think if you're looking for a 14-pointer, I'd be picking him over everybody else. Maybe McNulty and Krauschweg would be your two next bets. Don't pick Froome, don't pick Port, don't pick Valverde. 12-pointers, um, I'll get into a more select process now. Hershey, I think, could win a couple of stages if he's allowed to go into a breakaway. He's got to come into this and perform. After all, he's been creating a bit of a fiasco with the whole, uh, you know, just with media and not racing early on. So I think he's got to come in and prove a point. I think that he will be definitely be targeting breakaway on stage five and maybe even last in the circuit on stage seven. Kamner, maybe. Um, decent time trial, but I don't think the climbs are too hard for him. Jai Hindley is going for GC, but again, not a great time trial. We'll probably pick you up a solid 200 to 300 points. Sepp Kuss, kind of similar to Jai, but I think could do better on the climbing. So maybe pick Kuss if you that's your kind of thing. Dan Martin, probably, maybe, probably not. Around no, Woods, probably not. 10 pointers. Guerrero could go in a break, but yeah, it's, it's, you're putting 10 points on somebody, maybe going a breakaway. It's not a great, it's a bit of a risk. Lucas Hamilton could finish in the top 10. Sargon could definitely, after his Milan San Remo performance, do a lot better now in the sprints. Eight pointers, there's a 
there's a lot of eight pointers and I realize that I'm kind of whoa, running out of time um, eight pointers we have Brambia possibly Cavania for a good G uh, time trial sorry it's journey kind of the same Chicone is a bit on and off Daryl MP for the two sprint stages looks decent so does Cantor James Knox and Masnada I know it's a little bit different because I've just highlighted it but you know Possibly, may use probably is overpriced for eight. Mahorch is going for breakaways and maybe could sprint as well. Perton Steiner is going for GC. Don't pick Wild Pools. He's even said he's not really doing much here. Luis Leon Sanchez for some breakaways. Dion Smith for some sprints. There's probably going to be two sprints here, in my opinion. Dion Smith could maybe last the last stage, so maybe that's a decent option. Um, six pointers. There's a couple of them, which I'll pick out Buritago is going for GC apparently whether how high he finishes is um, unknown Champassan is kind of the same to Ghent usually goes well here but just hasn't looked great as of like the last six months so I think that's a bit risky um, down 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 Andreas Krohn is a puncher who could certainly go in the breakaway JJ Lobato is a sprinter two sprint stages I'd expect him to get about 100 points uh, same thing for Milano and the same thing for uh, Venturini at the bottom here. Tejada for a kind of GC possibly. Ross got for a uh, time trial and breakaways. I'd expect most of those guys to be getting somewhere between 100 to 200. The sprinters maybe 150. I think you're better off picking a 6 point sprinter rather than a 6 point GC guy just because... When I looked at the, if I kind of calculated how much I'd expect each rider to get, and in my opinion, there's so many GC guys here that even if you pick somebody like, uh, where is he, Champoussin, say he finishes 15th, that gets him about 100 final GC points, but with a climbing, he's just outclassed to the point where he'll probably just not pick up any points on either of the climbs, which means he'll end up with about 100 overall versus the sprinters who could certainly get you know 60 points on each sprint which gets about 120 maybe you pick a better one you get a bit lucky um if i'm having to pick any of the sprinters i'll be picking milano or venturini there's venturini milano it's a bit up here there's milano um i'd be picking either one of them over a gc option don't get too caught up on gc i did in paranese it ended up just not working out Four pointers, right, so you're here if you absolutely are scraping the barrel. I'll provide you a couple of options. Cone Barman, just for Team Yumbo Visma, Team GC. Uh, Shanetsky is a puncher for Gazprom. Really unknown, but um, could snag you a couple of top tens if you're kind of desperate. Steph Kras is a climber for Lotus to Dial. Again, could get him a break. Stefan de Bod finished in the top ten of the time trial in the UAE tour, which means that he'll probably finish in the top ten of the time trial here. Therefore, he's a guaranteed at least 30 points. I'd say he's going to end up with about 50. Chad Hager, very similar, but I think he's a better time trialer, so maybe put him on if you want maybe like 80 points guaranteed. Hananen's a bit too overrated, um, in my opinion. Harper, decent time trial, did pretty good in the UAE tour, could finish top 30 on GC very easily, plus the team GC points. I reckon that he's a, probably your, better, your best four-point pick. Ooh, who else have we got? Not many. Sylvain Monique and Maxime Van Gils are two guys for Lotto Dao who are very exciting, but I don't think they'll do much here. Uh, Matthias Skelmos Jensen did well in the UE Tour in terms of GC, but um, how well he does here uh, is difficult to, to tell. But, you know, that, that's just some four points that you could go with. So overall, one well, takeaway points, definitely pick Yates. Uh, pick either Zhao or Carapaz or both of them. Um, so maybe make those three your main three guys or make two of them and then pick uh, maybe like Simon Yates or Hugh Carthy as your third option anyway I hope I was useful let me know on Twitter if you need uh, or Twitter Instagram whatever comment section in this video if you need any specific rider recommendations or to give you some more guidance and yep that's that come back for the classics videos coming up keep your masks on stay safe and I will talk to you next time salut